Hello, and thank you so very much for joining me tonight. Before we get into our session, I'd first like to take a moment to thank the sponsor for today's video, which is Blinkist. Blinkist is an incredible app that lets you listen to or read the highlights from over 3,000 nonfiction books in about 15 minutes. There's a really wonderful catalog to choose from and a great explore page where you can dive into different categories. Some books that I would recommend to you would be Minor Feelings by Kathy Park Hong, Hawaii by Summer Lacroix, and The Inclusion Dividend by Mark Kaplan and Mason Donovan. Blinkist has over 14 million active users and the first 100 people to use the link below in my video here will get unlimited access for a full week to try it out. You can cancel any time, but if you decide to continue and purchase the full membership, you will get 25% off. Blinkist now features full-length audiobooks. Premium subscribers get a special member pricing at up to 65% off retail price. Blinkist has teamed up with popular podcast creators to offer shortcuts to get to the heart of a podcast episode in a short amount of time. I've been personally using Blinkist for a good few months at this point, probably six or seven months, and I absolutely love it. I personally find myself drawn to using it in the morning where I can listen to it when I'm making my coffee or after I walk my dog and I'm just kind of preparing my mind for the day ahead. There's so many great categories and topics to choose from, so I'm always finding something that uh, piques my interest and also allows me to jump around a bit between topics and things that I want to learn about. Again, please use the link below in the video description here to get a really good deal of a full week off of which you can cancel anytime within that week. And again, if you continue with the full membership, you will be getting 25% off the price. Thank you so much to Blinkist for sponsoring this video and we'll get into our session. Hello, and thank you so very much for joining me tonight. I go by Luna Needs, and if you're a regular follower of this channel, you might have noticed that I took a break. I took like a about a week and a half off, and I just wanted to acknowledge that in case you follow me and you're like, where the heck are you? <laughs> Is everything okay? You know, at first it wasn't okay, but nothing huge, right? So I just, I just want to share quickly before we move on to our session or our time together here because this video is going to be, um, sometimes when I take a break and I come back, I need something a little like kind of gentle to kind of ease my way in. Uh, and I have a lot of videos that I'm creating today, a lot of sessions I'm hosting today for YouTube as well as for Patreon. So this is my like, you know, getting back, getting the, the engine revved again or whatever, like back on track. But I just had such an intense experience after the recent full moon in Scorpio. I was so emotional, like so hit. It was like happy stuff, really sad stuff, really just like a lot of processing, a lot of emotional processing for me. And it was very difficult to me, for me to make videos when I'm in that state, as you can imagine. Like I really do take this seriously. So I'm not gonna be my best when I'm like, personally going through it really you know intensely and then after that um i just wasn't really feeling great and then after that i was like man like this time feels so good like i just needed this time for myself so thank you thank you for being patient especially you know for everyone but especially those of you in patreon thank you so much for being so patient with me because um I was like, I've been late on the long form this month and all that. And just thank you so much for giving me that grace period. I'm so grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm perfectly okay. And I was okay the whole time. It's just like, just needed some time for myself. All right. So thank you. And of course, um, another reason I'm sharing this is because, you know, you're going to need time for yourself too, right? And I just wanted to be very normal, you know, very uh, expected that people need to take time off sometimes, even when it's not some huge, like, huge event. It's just like a personal need, you know? So I hope that this supports in any way the, if you're taking a break, if you've had to cancel some stuff, if you need to, like, pull back, you know, I just want to say, like, you're not alone and, you know, we're definitely not judging each other in a space like this when it comes to that stuff, you know? So, all right, well, I'm very excited to create this session for you today. It's gonna be a little different, like I said. It's not gonna be super intense. It could be, but that's not quite my intention. 
basically we're going to be doing this in a, a bit more of a um or my intention anyway i never know really what's going to come out <laughs> in the process but my intention is to create a very asmr video for you you know a lot of spray sounds i for those of you who've been following me you may have known uh, I've been running out of my sprays, <laughs> so I did order six more that I'm going to share with you today. So we're going to do some plucking and spraying, kind of working with layers and intentions, uh, a little energetic maintenance of source, but releasing blockages, releasing or um, uncorking a little of perhaps an emotional release for you or a realization or clarity or getting more in touch with yourself or falling more in love with yourself too also blockages at the end of our session here related to sleep and the ability to have really um good good sleep you know like really good sleep so that is the intention we are going to light a candle like we always do because i wouldn't feel right if we didn't <laughs> and we're going to get into it all right so again thank you so very much Here's some patchouli incense, matches, and there's just one left. I love when that happens. And our candle. And we're just gonna set an intention. On behalf of your and mine and everyone else's highest and greatest good in perfect comfort and in perfect alignment our intention today is to support you in whatever way that might mean for you as your own unique individual self having your own unique individual experience at this time right but to add on to our intention, we want to work to release blockages, stagnant energy, emotional congestion, energetic congestion to support you in connecting with your ultimate you know, personal power, your ultimate divine truth, your pure self, your heart's desires, your love for yourself. And your, how can I put this, the magic of you, you know, the magic of you. If you have an intention you'd like to set for yourself, please just have a look at this little flame, this little doorway, this little passage, portal to the ethers, to the universe, and set your own intention. And I'm going to keep the focus here because we're going to be doing some plucking first and then I'll pull it back. So please don't stress out your eyes. It is intentional to keep the focus this way. I know it does not suit everyone, but I'm the creator here. <laughs> okay, so first, focusing to connect beyond time and space. Again, with the intention, completely in alignment with all your free will of course not forceful not pushing anything on you in any way but we just want to scan the auric field connect this way and just set an intention to highlight any blockage any congestion any stagnation any like held up kind of knot or bowl ball of energy stuck in your energetic body so we can connect with flow and movement and all the lovely things that come with that
gonna focus on just channeling through, opening a bit of a channel here, portal you kind of almost like you're standing under a shower for this entire session Right, and that's it <laughs> Alright, and now we're gonna focus and do, you know, just to acknowledge because I don't want anyone to be spooked you may hear some background sounds of traffic and stuff. I just, I just live in a space that has traffic. <laughs> okay, so thank you. But we're gonna first focus to connect with anything that is blocking you from your magic. You know, your um, fantasies, your ability to manifest, your ability to think outside. Your ability to focus on that which is most meaningful to you. Focus on that which your soul is called to, guiding you to. And we're going to access and reach and pull and pluck anything that is blocking. Whether this is a belief, a pattern, or purely a blockage of some kind. Whether it is based on fear or doubt in your ability or a facade misguidance of any kind and we're just release be truly disconnected from your divinity. I don't mean to imply that. But your realization of it, your connection to it, your confidence in it. And just release, release, release. And from here, Calling in through this frankincense and tension and correspondence and the magic of this resin of this hydrosol to form those connections or empower the pathways that connect you most righteously, most um, just strong, like vital, with most vitality to your soul, to the experience of your soul, your soul's becoming of sorts, not that it is not already so perfect, but in our kind of human experience, right, we tend to potentially lose touch with that, so 
connecting you to the purest nature of yourself, of your heart, of your joy, of your passions. Just gonna spray. going to focus and excuse me while I change the focus <laughs> but we're going to focus on plucking now anything that prevents you from connecting with um, your ability to be calm your ability to chill out to find refresh in the moment to tune into yourself in a calm way or approach situations in a calm way, in an empowered way, in a methodical way, that is of course most beneficial to you and potentially others as well, most likely. So we're just going to scan and call to highlight any blockage or belief or pattern that triggers you, right? That triggers you into a state that you're not looking to get into. There's nothing wrong with being angry. You know, there's nothing wrong with getting mad, there's nothing wrong with being human. But what I mean is these sensitivities that get you heated, that almost like how dogs get like hot spots, like something bothers you, it rubs you the wrong way or it irritates you, but then you can't stop kind of rubbing it raw, you know? Um, I'm so sorry, I don't mean to be gross with the way, like dog hot spots and stuff, but I hope that that makes sense. So we just want to extract those points, those triggers, not to take them away, but to take away that intensity of focusing on such and then the rawness that comes from such. So we want to pull, release that which really gets under your skin and doesn't give you a chance to approach things like level-headed. Forgive me, I'm not trying to
front to back, okay? So I'm going from right to left and front to back. And we're going to channel through this coolness. Grace, this, you know, like our last video, unbothered sort of energy, collected, focused on yourself, not to consume and pick apart and drive ourselves a little, a little cuckoo, right? I think of my dog in this, right? Because he does have very sensitive skin. Okay, he itches the bite, right? Something got his attention. Something happened. But from there, it's just the irritation and he can't stop. But it's like, Mama, calm down. Now you're, now you're the one who's messing with yourself, you know? Gotta give ourselves that time to cool. anything, extracting, releasing, anything that is preventing you from your own personal ascension, right? Again, thought or pattern or belief or um, influence, right? Whatever it might be. And unlimited by my words here, of course. Anything that makes you, is keeping you kind of, um, forgive me, but down. And I don't mean that as criticism and I don't mean to say, oh, you're feeling down, feel up. Like, I don't mean that at all. Please know, I respect all facets of the human experience, the darkest and the lightest, you know, the heaviest and the most effervescent. But still, because we're working with our energy work today, right? As we focus here, we want to release the heaviness, the heavy stagnation, the heavy beliefs, the concepts of lack, the concepts of um, being unable to make change. We can make change, right? Of course, there's so many ways we can access different things and we're all focused on different areas personally, more um, niche-like, I guess we could say, in terms of our um, social experience. I hope I'm using my words um, correctly there. But back to our focus, this is about releasing again that heaviness, that burden, that weight, that emotion you have taken on and is holding you down. If you're ready to let go, let's allow that to let go and we'll release that heaviness, that grief, that heartache. self-criticism perhaps or um, old story that disempowers us and we're letting it go that weight
just letting it slide off cutting through and sliding <laughs> alright and the next of the sprays I'm using are all from the same brand just in case you're wondering because I know a lot of people ask me so not, I'm not sponsored by any of this by the way just sharing <laughs> and we have this uplifting spray if you're curious it has orange grapefruit spearmint intention here is to channel through to support your own connection now that this weight has been released with your own effervescence, you know, your own uplifted energy and I don't want to put too many words to this because I think we're all working in different spaces, right? but the uplifting, the bubbly, the um, ascension of your soul of your personality as you move through time and space in this reality pushing through your entire auric field your entire energetic field to empower to uplift move you, to inspire you to move that you are nimble to know that you move nimbly we release here and pluck and pull we're focusing on anything that disconnects you or blocks you or disempowers you from the love of yourself you know like the extreme love of yourself and I'll actually take a quick moment and bring you back for a sec to share with you something in my personal journey recently and this has not been um, brand new to recently but it was or it is or has become a significant tool of mine and you know I never sometimes I sh I sh I'm hesitant to share bits of my journey especially on like Instagram or um, a posting like that where I have to really use my words and type it out because I just feel like so much can be lost in text you know sometimes or at least I feel that way anyway and I never want to share as if I expect a one-size-fits-all or like oh I do this yeah you do this as if we're all the same I know there's a paradox here because there's so much um, overlapping like your pain is my pain you know like there's um, this connection through our joys and our suffering that is just human right or is just sentient we could say but of course at the same time you are unique you're path is unique and no one will ever really know what it's like to see the world from your experience right with your history with your thoughts with your um, desires right so anyway I get a little 
tongue tied and stuff. But I just wanted to share that I'm gonna be freaking 39 this year, like in July. So I started my journey. I mean, our whole life is a journey, but I really started being mindful, I'd say, around the time that I was 30 and just opening the door to that. I'd say there were some um, catalytic experiences prior to that, perhaps in my mid to late 20s, but they were more like little bloop, bloop, like little wake-ups, but not something, um, I mean, they were significant, but not like um, a dedicated practice, we could say. So when I was Anyway, what I'm, what I'm trying to put here, from let's say 30 to 39, I'm only starting to really feel um, aware of how much the tools that I have collected for myself, like the unique tools for my life, and how they have benefited me. So even this past week, or last week rather, when I was like, like so knocked around by my emotions so like sad and I was sharing with a friend and like telling my old story and no matter what and how empowered we are right now when we retell a story very often it brings us back to that moment it brings us back to the pain we felt then and it's just like sometimes that's the camel's back you know and that's kind of what it was for me where it's just like oh, you know like just all this like validating of what an experience was for me so recently i'd say in the past couple of years but so much more um concrete now because everything takes practice you can start doing something add something to your life but it still takes years for it to like fully start like really showing how effective it is for you so part of what my pain was was like thinking about like kind of like my childhood right and like whose childhood is perfect right i'm not blaming anyone here but you know as i'm crying and as i'm like Ooh, you know <laughs> i also was just like falling more in love with myself like i've done all that i've done fairly independently you know i've done it all through my own investments i've done it all through my own time i've done it all through my own passions there wasn't a map there wasn't a plan there wasn't a um kickstart kind of situation and you know like some people start with much less than i and some people start with me more and there's nothing wrong or better about these things but what i'm trying to share here is that even in now my darkest times i always remember that like i'm here for me you know like and I'm the one that did all this for me in a sense like I'm the one that stands up for me I'm the one who goes after what I want I'm the one and I don't mean this in an egotistical way and I feel all this I'm 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 feels very I've had a lot of help simply from you and viewers and you know people hearing me out right so this is not a self journey in a sense but what I mean by this and I'm totally going overboard here forgive me but this just has to come out for someone to be able to see that you have been there through through your entire life for you is so transformational you know and to treat yourself in whatever way that you can like as in um sometimes i think of me and then future me or me and past me and how past me has done things for me now and me now is doing things for future me and maybe me now needs a week off so future me is gonna have to pick it up for, for, for. <laughs> like sometimes i play like that and that kind of helps me connect with it right or you can look in the mirror right or do mirror work um and stuff like that anyway um what i'm just trying to get at here is the concept of self-love and realizing that through your entire life as, as amazing as your family may be as amazing as your friends may be or lacking right or 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 excuse me let me exnay that word but like or not feeling that you know not feeling like you had that no matter what you have been there for you and you got yourself through these situations and you're the one investing in yourself you know like you're the one taking the time for yourself you're the one sh doing the work to focus on what is more meaningful to you you're the one doing all this and just like to love yourself for that you know and really build this foundation or know that in your foundation you have 
this ultimate love and support from you, you know, and to not ever feel like you were unsupported because the whole time, like the best person in the world, you has been there for you. Okay. So that went way overboard. I do apologize if that got twisted and I don't, I hope that you can hear me with your heart and what I was trying to say. So our plucking here is to release anything again in alignment with personally you and what is right for you of course not forceful but that connects disconnects you from loving yourself from witnessing how you've been there for you right and how if you really wanted something you're the one that made it happen you're the one that saved or you're the one that cut the time out and put it you know invested in yourself or you're the one that held the boundary you're the one that maybe got out of the relationship you're the one that said sorry all of these things, like, we have to give ourselves a little more credit for, right? And if there's anything disconnecting you from fully loving yourself, please, like, and if this resonates and if my little story that probably didn't make a whole lot of, you know, <laughs> linear sense um, resonated with you in any way, energetically, right? Because it's all a transmission here. Just say and communicate to your subconscious, especially during this point right here, to allow any blockage any belief, any pattern, any thought, any imposed imposition, we could say, from the external that kept you from loving yourself or realizing the love you've always had for you or the being there for you that has always been through yourself, that you're never alone, you are with the God in you, you know, like how beautiful. And no one takes care of you the way you take care of yourself, right? So if there's anything blocking that, it is our intention, right, for the subconscious to allow, for the higher self to allow this to release. 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 Okay? And I'm just going to focus over here. I hope I'm not driving you crazy. And we're going to focus and pull and wind this out. And kind of carve through the polar polarizing um, concepts of the individual here to make sure we're accessing all areas past and present and future childhood our upbringing through our relationships and following anything the self-criticism the self-talk And if you're curious, this has rose, another kind of rose, palma rose, sandalwood, frankincense, and rose quartz. Which is that cute little sound in there. I'm gonna bring you back. Thanks for being patient. And thanks for hearing me out. So I'm gonna go all around your shoulders. Um, more than your shoulders, your arms, your shoulders crossed your chest around the back and just really focused on this space here. Okay, so I'm going to focus on the outside first, so kind of up the back of the arm. And then up the front.
going right in the hearts. These all smell. Every single spray, by the way. It just smells so good. Alright, we're gonna send in focusing on that love of self. And I hope that, um, in, and if you don't understand or if you don't know this, but in energy work, and everything is energy work, but when people hold keys of healing or actualization or realization or initiation of some kind, that key is like a sound or a note or a frequency. And that's why our personal development, whether you're an energy practitioner or just not, <laughs> your personal development holds waves through the space that you move through, through the space that you um, project into, right? So, I hope that my humble development of this witnessing Excuse me, I'm just gonna wait for that car Sorry about that, there's just a loud car, but I hope that, you know, I humbly hope that my um, development of this when it was such a struggle before um, is you know, something that you can kind of tune into or just understand that there are keys that we all hold. You hold many keys yourself. And, you know, I'm happy to share that code with you. Okay. And again, because we've released, we want to just channel through. And I'm focusing on that key and that code. Even just the other night, feeling so supported by that, even as I'm crying, <laughs> feeling so appreciative of that self connection, self love, doing what's right for you, realizing you've always been there for yourself, and you always will be. In this life and beyond and before. Just you have your own little radiator within yourself, within your heart. To rev this up. in joyous times and in uncomfortable times. strong, you're resilient, and you're a good friend to yourself, more than that. Okay. So, coming back, we're going to focus on releasing any, um, how can I say this? Any pain, any harshness, any fear, right? Related to particularly um, being weak or being vulnerable or being gentle or showing your true colors or wearing your heart on your sleeve, right? That kind of stuff. I want to just release anything that is of the more uncomfortable or quote-unquote negative association to the experiences of your own vulnerability, of validating your own, you know, wounds or boo-boos or ouchies that we all experience, a releasing the, the, anything that keeps us from being tender, right, like with ourselves or gentle with ourselves. 
focusing in and kind of butterfly wing in here. Kind of moving it around and pulling out, releasing the callus, the roughness, you know, and I don't mean to say we should take down you know, the walls of the castle, like, it's okay to have your own walls, like, no one's gonna force you, I'm not gonna force you to take down the walls that I'm sure you constructed for purpose, right, for self-preservation, but when it comes to being gentle with you, why would we have a wall for that, right, so, let's just access these points, again, just like butterfly wings, a softness, or kind of fish fin to your sensitivities to allowing yourself to be sensitive soft, tender, gentle to know it's okay to cry it's okay to feel pain it's okay to be human, to be delicate strong as you are and you know I see you as that to see you as strong there's a delicate side to all of us there's a vulnerability in love in creating in being the real you right the true you the loving you Whatever your real you is, right? <laughs> Blow yourself kisses. Give yourself time for that nap, you know? Have that dessert or that snack or take that walk or journal. Take that bath or shower. Just vent. Have a conversation with yourself.
right finally as I bring it back again last time in okay we're going to be pardon me might as well grab this real quick we're gonna be working with anything that is preventing you from your depressed your progressive dreams your energy work that's happening behind the scenes as you sleep anything that's keeping your mind too active right like on a loop <laughs> to help you sleep to rest well to sleep well to let your body regenerate your cells your organs your blood so we're just gonna release Sometimes the blockage isn't even like a stuck thing. It's more like a little um, loop that can't like get back on track, you know? Like it's mal malfiring kind of like stuck circuit. So we just want to guide that out, let that process. Remember, there's nothing we're going to solve before bed, you know? so much we want to think about or work out or prepare ourselves for or dig and sink our teeth into but right now before sleep or later when you fall asleep there's nothing you need to figure out right now is you stressed about bills well thinking about it before bed is not gonna help out why punish yourself Relationship, be stressed about your job. Well, thinking about it before bed, it's still not really going to get you anywhere. There's not going to be a resolution. You're going to feel more tired. Allow your subconscious mind that chance to process. Get out of your head. Just get into slumber. spray gets you curious right and again if you're curious this has lavender chamomile sweet orange whole wood and vetiver so again we're gonna go over the front and down the back starting below the feet, focus below the feet things, to release things, to bring things to your awareness, 
and trust that in the next day you'll have a better understanding you'll feel better and I want to remind you to take a moment in the morning or after your nap or whenever it might be when you wake up and focus on that love for self focus on the gentleness of you the magic of you your empowerment all the opportunities here and we don't have to define them but just know that there are so many so many people seen and unseen rooting for you that energetically have your back and even if they didn't Use the sleepy time over. Oops, that's not it. Oh, here we go. And we're gonna fluff the aura. Creating this thick, cozy, blanky, burrito, cuddly field to support you as you sleep. a long one. So much for that easy start, right? <laughs> From the very bottom of my heart, I bow this divine within you and I, within you and I, and I just thank you so much for allowing me to share a little piece of your path tonight. Thanks for hearing me out <laughs> as well, and I hope that you would just have a beautiful day or night or life in general. And I'm just sending you so much love. Very much love to you. And namaste.